Three students continue to fight for their lives in the hospital after being shot in the head Friday morning at their Seattle area high school. A fourth student is listed in serious condition today and investigators say two of the students are believed to be the shooter's cousins. Thanks for joining us tonight. Police say freshman Jalen Freiberg opened fire on his classmates, killing one before turning the gun on himself. Today we're learning more about the moments leading up to that shooting. Jacqueline Kovac joins us live now with the latest on this. Jackie. Mel, we're learning that one of the newly hired teachers at that high school had confronted the gunman just as he was trying to reload his gun. Now, Jalen Freiberg has been identified by several students and government officials as the gunman. However, local authorities in that area refused to comment on him and the motive possibly behind this shooting. Four teenagers remain in intensive care in hospitals in Washington state after police say they were shot in a high school cafeteria on Friday by freshman Jalen Freiberg. A female student died in the shooting. Her name has not yet been released. Two 14-year-old girls are listed in critical condition at Providence Hospital about 25 miles north of Seattle. Investigators say both girls suffered head wounds in the shooting. The girls have been identified as Shaylee Chekolnaskit and Gia Soriano. The Soriano family released a statement Saturday that was read by the hospital's chief medical officer. Um, the Soriano family asked that we make a statement on their behalf. They, they said, our family is in shock. We appreciate your thoughts and, our pra and your prayers during this tragedy. Our hearts go out to the other victims and to their families. Two boys are being treated for gunshot wounds at Harborview Hospital in Seattle. 14-year-old Nate Hatch suffered a jaw injury and is said to be in serious condition, while Andrew Freiberg is in critical condition after undergoing extensive surgery for a head injury. Both boys are said to be the gunman's cousins. A candlelight vigil was held Friday night in response to the shooting, with many looking for answers. A situation like this really makes you rethink everything you know about a town where you live. Washington Governor Jay Inslee spoke during the vigil, telling people to hug their families extra tight in the wake of this tragedy. We need to tell our children they're not alone tonight in the days to come, and I know Washingtonians will do just that. Now, the county sheriff in that area said in a statement today that the on-scene investigation has been complete, allowing students to go back into the school to get their belongings. Now, a 40 caliber, caliber handgun has been recovered, and that is what authorities believe was used in the shooting. Reporting live, Jacqueline Kovac, 6 News.